Okay, today we're talking about slope fields. And on the board, what I have here uh, is the slope field for y equals x squared. Now, this would actually be the slope field for dy dx equals x squared. A slope field will not, it's, it's not a graphical representation of the differential equation. It's actually a graphical representation of the solutions to the differential equation. So if we are thinking x squared, you think it should look like a parabola. But this is not a graph of this. This is a graph of solutions. And the solution to dy dx equals x squared would be y equals 1 third x cubed, right? Good. So these should look roughly like the graph of 1 third x cubed plus c, right? And if you think about it, depending on all the different constants you could have, you have all these different solutions, right? Okay, so a slope field is, and you can add more, like on this little applet, it's, it's not limited to what I have here. So I could go like 30 by 30 in the same space, right, and put in more slopes. Do like 50 y. Do 50 of them? No, 50 y, not 50 x. Oh, I'm going to do 50 books. Or okay. do 60 y. Okay, all right, that's enough. We're going back to, to 20 by 20. Can we do like zero? Okay. Um, all right, so this is a, it's a graphical representation of the solution to a differential equation. Not every differential equation has a solution that can easily be found analytically, but you can always graph a slope field to get an idea of what the solution looks like. You can also graph specific solutions to a slope field. If we were to graph a specific solution, I'm just going to randomly pick a point, then uh, that would be a rough graph of the solution to this differential equation through that point, right? You can have, you know, I could pick multiples. I could do this one, right? I could do one up here. So any of these would be graphs of the solution to this differential equation. Um, through specific points, okay, but they all, the whole thing is called the slope field. All right, so what we're going to do today, is we're going to learn how to sketch a slope field from scratch, <coughs> we're going to review how to solve the differential equation, we're going to learn how to find the domain of the slope field, and we're going to learn how to sketch a specific solution on the slope field. All right? Four things today. All right, here we go. First thing we're going to do is learn how to sketch a simple slope field. So what you're given normally when you have to sketch a slope field is you're given a coordinate plane with some dots on it. And what they want you to do is sketch the slopes at all of the dots. So if we have the equation dy dx equals 1 over x squared y. If we look at our first dot here, this is the point 1, 1. That means x is 1 and y is 1. So we plug in a 1 for x and a 1 for y. What do we get? 1, right? This, is, this means dy dx is 1. dy dx represents slope. So what you do is you sketch a little line with a slope of 1. It doesn't have to be perfect. It, it has to be going in the right direction. And it has to roughly look like it's about 1. They're not going to get out of protractor. Do you have that for all of the... Top? Yes. Are you hearing Davis sound? I was, I was imitating you this time. Oh, do I have a no voice? Yeah. Maybe that going question you did. Puberty. Yes. Okay. Wait, can I do the next one? How about, how about one, two? Sure. Oh, I was going to do two, one. Okay, do two, one. Okay, so two, so that'd be x squared, which is two squared, which is four, times one, which would be one fourth. So that'd be like a lot more horizontal. Yes! Very good. So this one has a slope of a fourth because x is two and y is one. So you have a slope that's much shallower than the one that you just drew. Cool. All right. The one that's 1, 2 would be a slope of a half. 
which has to be in between these two. Just do your best at it. It's something around there. They should be getting shallower as you go. And then 2, 2, the slope, anyone know what the slope would be if x is 2 and y is 2? 1. 1 eighth. So like super shallow, almost horizontal. What they're going to be looking for is, are your slopes going in the right direction, and are they correct relative to each other? Is a half shallower than a one? They're usually not going to do slopes with a half and a fourth and an eighth that close together because it's real hard to do, get those correct. But anyway, but they would easily have like a one and a half, right? And you should be able to show that this is more shallow than that one. Okay. If x is negative 1 and y is 1, what's our slope? One. It's still 1 because the x is being squared. What about if x is negative 2 and y is 1? It's still a 4. As a matter of fact, this is going to be, these are going to be all the same as those, just on the opposite side. Alright, let's go over here to 1, negative 1. So x is 1, y is negative 1. What's our slope? Negative 1. Negative